Hello, today we're gonna do a little bit of a different video from my usual stuff. Normally you might see me play guitar and so on, but uh, well, today I have a little bit of a mystery package here for you. This styrofoam um, uh, box here that I fairly recently received in the mail it was a bargain from eBay. Well, what this is is a Polish SR70 a personal Geiger counter, or rather, I believe this one actually uh, counts in Röntgen hours. Well, it comes in a box with a small all accessory bag with some extra O-rings and a small light bulb, a instruction manual, which I believe might be in uh, Polish, so, unfortunately, I don't really read Polish, but still, some of the most, uh, some of the most uh, useful information here, this table here, actually is quite easy to understand. More about that later. And then we have the guy counter itself. This one, according to the date, is, as you can see down here, it's, uh, it's uh, dated at uh, 1984. Yeah. See if I can get a good picture of it here. Yeah. It comes with a canvas style sling. So we're gonna do this side and uh, have more of a look at this this guy counter well as you can see on this guy counter it's fairly simple in its layout you have a warning light here you have the internal light here with the N symbol and then you have this switch here which actually chooses between light that means that every click the counter detects will actually be symbolized by uh, this flashing light here if you push this up instead it will actually use this siren which is here so depending on if you're on uh, if you want uh, an audio or a visual cue for its work uh, for the amount of clicks yep uh, then you have this rotating dial here at the bottom. Uh, w, as I understand, that's off. K is a battery check. And then you have this, which has 0, 05, 5, and 30. Well, we can consult the manual for that. As I've understood, it seems to say here uh, something that the amount of clicks per second, so on. And then you can see it says 0.5 R slash H, so uh, 0.5 Runchen hours, uh, 5 Runchen hours, or 30 Runchen hours. In my opinion, in my understanding, I should say, uh, I understand as it's this number that you put in on the dial times the amount of clicks, so time, amount of clicks per minute zero clicks per minute, roughly 10 clicks a minute, 19 clicks a minute, and more or equal to 22 clicks a minute. So if you have then zero clicks a minute and you have it on 0 0.5 Runchen hours, that means that you have absorbed less than 0 0.5 Runchen hours. 10 clicks would be 0 0.5 Runchen hours, 0 0.5 and 10. If it's about 19 or 20, it's 1 Runchen hours, 22, uh, about 1.5 Runchen hours. 5 Runchen hours, 0 clicks, up to 5, 10 clicks, 5. Uh, 19 clicks, 10, 22, 
15 and so on and 30 yeah you can see for yourself so that's my understanding on how it works and uh, this unit actually still works unfortunately I don't have any type of check source so I won't be able to check the tube in it uh, also worthy to note on the back side here all the instructions are printed in this Bakelite uh, casing and as I've understood it's all in Polish also the I believe it's the uh, settings and the amount of runjin uh, hours is printed back here as well uh, it's sealed with four screws two of them are wax coated and um, actually it still works as far as I can tell electronically it seems to work because it runs on four standard D cell type batteries it can also be used with a 6 volt power supply, negative and positive terminals are here and then these two rotary battery covers houses the batteries so two batteries goes in each tube see if I can do this without messing it up on camera There we go. Now the batteries are in the unit and we can put it on. Let's see that. As you can see now, when we put it, the unit on check, you can see we have the light in here, the end symbol, and also this uh, warning light is flashing. On the K setting. Now, if I'm putting it up to audible, you get that very loud, annoying uh, siren signal. But if you are somewhere maybe in the zone, if you get that reference, you might want a high pitch squeal to notify you that. Get out of here. Yeah, and now the unit is on on the lowest setting, the 0 0.5. And I don't believe that we have any type of background radiation that it might be able to perceive out here. But who knows? I rather want to have a check source for this to make sure it works. I'm not really sure, it's uh, probably this is supposed to pick up primarily gamma radiation, which is pure energy. Uh, I don't, certainly, this is certainly not a alpha uh, detector, but I'm not sure, it might be possible that this can pick up beta radiation, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but uh, I would suspect that uh, fallout uh, Gamma radiation is something this unit would be used to pick up. So yeah, that's my brief overview of the RS-70 Polish Geiger counter. Well, see you in the next video.